Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I recently put up a story on my Instagram asking for video ideas and one of the topics that came up quite often was asking me to talk about what you can start doing in high school to prepare for a career in medicine. So most people decide that they want to become a doctor during high school. This is usually when you start feeling like an adult and begin planning your future and starting making career decisions. Now, I personally didn't decide to be a, become a doctor until much later in life, but that's a totally different story for another day. So in this video, I'll start off with some of the tips for what you can do in high school to prepare yourself for medical school. Then I'll talk about course selection in high school with specific reference to high school courses in Ontario. Now, if you aren't from Ontario or Canada, use this as a general guide to the kind of courses you may want to consider taking. I'll finish off with strategies to choose a university major. If you stay tuned till the very end, I'll also share two extra tips that will enhance your skills um, no matter what career choice you choose. To start off, the best thing you can do in high school is to learn to be a good student. A career in medicine is a lifelong career of continuous learning. Now, typically, undergraduate degrees range from three to four years. Medical school is usually about four years, and residency can be between two to six years. So if you do decide on a career as a doctor, you have to ensure that you love the process of learning new things and learn to study effectively. So early on, start to cultivate a good a set of study habits that will essentially allow you to be successful in high school and these skills should stay with you throughout the rest of your life when you become a doctor. For good study habits, I mean things like learning to study efficiently, time management skills, putting in consistent work throughout the school year and avoid procrastination. I'll have more videos in the coming weeks on study skills so make sure to stay tuned. Second, Take a wide variety of classes, including maths and sciences. In any specialty of medicine, a good understanding of math and science is, is essential. You don't need to be a mathematical or scientific genius, but a good understanding of the basic concepts and reasoning skills are essential. Next, I would recommend volunteering at a local hospital, medical clinic, or nursing home to see if a career in medicine is actually for you. Maybe see if you can shadow a doctor for a couple of days during your summer holidays and this will get you a better idea of what an actual doctor's job is like. I'm working on putting together a video about a day in the life of an anesthesiologist that should be out in the next couple of weeks. If you can shadow a doctor, this video may be of interest to you. Now keep in mind that what you see on TV shows like Grey's Anatomy and uh, New Amsterdam are totally far from the truth of what the realities of a career in medicine are like. The fourth point is to get involved in public speaking through clubs or groups such as Toastmasters. Being a good public speaker will help you in class projects, presentations, medical school interviews, and just give you that extra bit of confidence when, you, when you're conversing with other people. The fifth tip is to build leadership skills. You can build these skills by getting experience in joining clubs at schools or through volunteer work. Take any opportunity that comes your way to lead a club or project. It's never too early to build skills in people management, task delegation, and conflict resolution. Now finally, while it's important to have a strong educational foundation, it's equally important to develop your soft skills to make you a well-rounded individual. Now by soft skills, I mean people skills, social skills, communication skills, as well as social and emotional intelligence. Make time to spend socializing with friends, play a sport, and reconnect with family throughout high school. Medicine is not only about the science of human disease, but a huge portion of your work will involve treating the psychosocial component of disease. This is where being able to communicate, listen, empathize with others is very important. Next, let's move on to course selection. I'm going to specifically talk about high school courses in Ontario, but this is only a guide. The best resource would be your local high school guidance counselor. Other than your mandatory courses, I would recommend considering the following. 
in grade 11, aside from your elective courses, um, choose a few courses in the sciences, including grade 11 biology, chemistry, and physics at the university preparation level. The math courses I would consider in grade 11 include functions as well as functions and applications taken at the university prep level. In grade 12, I would again uh, consider taking grade 12 biology, chemistry, and physics. And another course that I saw on the course selection manual that looked interesting to me was a, a course called Earth and Space Sciences. The math courses I would consider in grade 12 include advanced functions, calculus and vectors, and mathematics of data management. Now, choose elective courses to meet the requirements of the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, as well as gain experience in language, skills, public speaking, and leadership. Elective courses should be in subjects you're interested in, but also allow you to get good marks in order to boost up your average. This will enable you to get into the undergraduate university program of your choice. If you want further details about high school courses available in Ontario, I'll leave the link below to the official Ontario Secondary School curriculum. Finally, we come to choosing a university major. In order to be eligible to apply for medical school, you will need to have at least three years of university education. Now choose a university major you will enjoy. Although most medical school applicants major in science-related degrees, you don't necessarily need to pursue a science degree in order to apply to medical school. I know many doctors who've entered medical school with degrees in arts, music, engineering, mathematics, and the social sciences. Medical schools do have certain prerequisite courses that they require you to have, but these courses can generally be completed while doing any major. Once you're in medical school, the teaching starts essentially from uh, from the basics. So if you're coming from a degree such as music or arts, you will still get up to speed very quickly. Now this is where excellent study skills will be important. The most important factors that will get you into medical school will be your GPA or average from your undergraduate degree, your MCAT scores, your extracurricular activities, uh, perhaps some re uh, research or research publications, and your medical school interview performance. Now for the bonus tips I wanted to share, which I think will help anyone in any career is as follows. First, learn to touch type and practice this important skill regularly. Now computers have become a crucial part of any workplace. Learning to touch type quickly and efficiently will allow you to be more productive in any career you choose. There are a ton of videos on the internet that can teach you the basics of touch typing, and once you have the basics down, it's just a matter of honing your skills with regular practice. Now my second tip is to learn to code. Learning to code will enhance your critical thinking and problem solving skills. And now on a more practical note, you can use coding skills to build websites and promote your business or build a, even an online store. You can also use your coding skills to automate tasks to enhance your productivity in any workplace. So this was just a quick summary of what you may want to consider if you're considering a career in medicine in high school. Hopefully you found this information useful. Now drop me a line if you have any further questions and I'd be happy to help. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, please cons consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time.